Hi, my name is Leah Moses. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about branding, why you should be branding, and how do you brand. So I get a question a lot of times from people who, okay, you came up with a business idea, you started your business, you got registered. If you had to copyright things, you copyrighted it, you got it, got all that fixed. But then you want to know what's next. Well, the next step is definitely to start branding your business. Now, branding your business begins in 2021 with social media right no longer is branding your business creating mugs and pens and and, and mouse pads with your business name right of course these things can help jerseys would help but it's really about social media branding why right now in this era everyone and more than likely your target market is heavily involved on some one of the social media platforms right and therefore you have to get your brand in the eyes of these people as often as possible because there is a theory that states that people need to get exposed to your product or service at least eight times before they make a decision that's statistics right and so with that said you need to be branding now a great company or number one um, fast food company in Trinidad and Tobago you will notice that they don't need to put ads really because people are accustomed to the brand we like the food and we go all the time however they understand branding and so you will be browsing social media you can be browsing a normal website as a matter of fact you can be on a Bible app and even see a banner ad with this fast food outlet advertising their specials and their deals or whatever right and that is all with branding so even if and everything needs branding by the way so even if you are deciding to become a personal coach an online tutor you need to brand yourself and your business in one right let me get that let me repeat that you need to brand yourself as well as your business Gone are the days where a company could simply hide behind a logo, just a logo and a name. So a lot of people, you know, they ran out, they created a page. Now, I'm not saying this is wrong, but what I'm, I'm going to explain just now why you also need to be branded. They will just have a logo and a picture. However, the internet these days is very noisy. And what I mean by noisy, you have multiple companies, whether locally, regionally, or internationally, that may be doing the very same thing that you do. There are people doing the same thing that you do. You're a fitness coach. There are, there are thousands, millions of fitness coaches around the world, right? Especially if you have an online, an online service. Of course, the local fitness people who only do physical face-to-face -face trainings, you wouldn't be, um, the, the international and regional people won't be a threat to you, but with things changing and with the pandemic, people are now offering online tips for training. So you can connect with your trainer and he can be giving you a routine on screen like I am now, right? You can be, you can be, he can be giving you some reps to do, watching you do it, telling you, hey, that's not the correct form, etc., etc. So the, the, the internet is noisy and you need to stick out. A company name, a brand name, will not help you stick out and stand out in your respective field. A logo alone will not help you stand out in your respective field. Yes, it will separate you. That's why you have to register your business. And if you have a logo, it will differentiate you. So if anybody sees that logo without even seeing you, they know, hey, that's John Doe's company, right? That's Jane Doe, right? Um, so you need to what 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 is being advised right now in a lot of courses people are paying a lot of money to be told simply hey use your personal page create a professional page have people get familiar with who you are and within you showing them who you are a real human being right they then will obviously see your brand through that right so no longer is it about fighting to manage a an official page and fight to manage your your personal page right now your your professional page is essential right definitely but it's it's it, it really needs to be from you first and you can always share info to the professional page and then also come back to you because people like to do business with those who they know like and trust especially depending on your industry now i know if you're a big corporation you may not want to just have yourself 
as as the CEO, you know, but you should be branding as well because by you branding, you are drawing attention back to your company, back to your corporation. So it should really be in the in the um, marketing strategy that the key players in the organization, the managers, the supervisors, that they have a personal brand. And that personal brand now would lead you back. Let's say I'm a car salesperson for a, a company, right? If I am a if I, I a marketing strategy for me could be that hey, I am I am showcasing my lifestyle more than likely. I have the same brand of car that my company sells, and so I can showcase easily. Hey, this is why I love this vehicle. Everywhere I go, you pull out your phone, you take a little video, you you speak about the, the gas performance, etc. etc. And you show how natural it is that you're using a natural product. They are using your product naturally, sorry. And that can interest people because somebody wants to know, hey, how's the gas mileage on that car? And you can tell them, hey, this car is good on gas. That in itself could bring a new customer into your company. Versus the company just puts up a page, puts up a logo, and have all the nice brand colors, and then and some static information about the car. Now, I mean, who is going to be selling any vehicle and highlighting its negatives? No one, right? Which means to say that all companies that sell cars will obviously state only their positives, right? And that you could that could end up making you um make decisions on a vehicle that wasn't the right choice however if you are observing your friend your neighbor even if it's a stranger branding themselves and the company you can get to see this thing in action people want that person to person and the more we are getting high tech is the more people want that personalized experience for their for for the particular product that they want to buy or the particular service let's give an example there's a there's a particular internet provider in Trinidad and Tobago right now that's you know making some mistakes and you can go to their site and see the best things and say hey I don't know I don't know if to trust it but what really sells it or, or, or what really dissuades people personal branding right what the public has to say if you don't have somebody branding your company and showing certain things or maybe even clarifying certain facts on your company you can lose out on on a lot of business based on what's being said so you should set up some officers some individual officers who are a part of the company and engage in branding but in a natural way so if they are using the internet service they can show hey this is how I use the service. This is how the service benefits me. And I'm talking about for general things. If you're a gamer, you can show, hey, look, I'm gaming with my internet connection. Look how great it is. Look at no lags, whatever, right? You can show these things and this could lift your company's image and it could actually draw customers because of that real experience, right? So back to the individual now with the business idea and your branding, you definitely need to be on social media. You need to be able to, when people come onto Google, a Google search engine, when they type in uh, internet services, right? Are you there? Is If you have a physical business, are you on Google Maps? Did you map your business? That's free of charge. I've done it before. You can simply follow these steps to mark your business. Google will then send you a mail to that business address to confirm that it's real. You put in that confirmation code and at a later date when you collect the, the mail. And now you are on Google Maps. So now if people are searching for, let's say you have a car wash. I did that with a car wash already. You set up the car wash and people can search if you search car wash people within a five kilometer radial whatever distance they choose could definitely say hey that's a car wash right there let me check it out right that's one other way to brand but you really need to showcase yourself brand yourself let everybody know that you are the authority in your field you are the person that people are coming to for that particular thing if they don't think of you right your business you are leaving a lot of money on the table and you may not be able to grow your business in the way you want to grow it so definitely get on facebook right i know a lot of platforms every platform is not for everyone however you need remember that you need to get in front of the eyes of the of your target market the people that you want buying your product so facebook is definitely one that you need to be on instagram i will say you definitely need to be on for that for those images and so on and each platform has their different mediums right of communication that works best so instagram is pictures pictures based right on facebook it's pictures but it's it's heavy video now and not just video but live video is something that's really popping right now for your brand get out there and give some information in your field but not just only talk about business an essential part of branding 
is showcasing that you are a human as well. That's why I'm saying on a on a on an official company page or business page, you don't really show your personal life you don't really show that you have pets you like pets some people decide to show family time some people don't right but you have to showcase yourself if you watch um people like gary v um and and some others right you will notice that they showcase now gary v is a guy he won't showcase his family compared to grand cardone grand cardone shows his daughters he shows his wife he shows when they are on vacation and he's basically branding but at the end of the day if you listen to his messages within his personal life stories you realize that grand cardone is a guy into real estate and sales right so because every now and again you put that in there right but you really want to gain that trust gain that likability right if you even if you're selling jerseys get yourself from get yourself in the space speak about something speak about you could speak about fashion you could speak about whatever and then of course you have the opportunity to share share your brand share your brand as you go along right if you are into as i said online tutoring you could speak about the education system speak about the way things are going in terms of um, the education industry and then of course you will always have the opportunity on a place like youtube your description is your store because your description can now have your links for people to go towards your official business things and towards buying the product etc so really and truly in your next step after you would have created your business idea and registered and, and patented and copyrighted whatever you needed to is to begin your branding starting with social media pages facebook instagram some people are using tiktok tiktok doesn't only have to be for dancing singing and com and comedy some people are using tiktoks they are they are health health professionals using tiktok simply to give points so top two things to do with your finances this month right and you do some activity and you put the words there on the screen you have a quick 15 second tiktok video empowering educating informing right simple so really and truly it's all about branding um i would go as far as but i'll do this in the next video where you can look into having a website if you don't have a youtube channel websites and youtube channels are both um for, uh, searchable for google if you if you create content that answers a question you can actually have people searching how to brand my business like this video how to brand my business and if you do the right seo your video can come up to inform somebody else especially it's geotag so i am in trinidad and tobago if i produce this and i do the seo well when people are searching on branding my video could pop up in Google search. You see some videos at the top of your Google search. If you have a website and your website is doing well, you are doing SEO well for your website, whatever your feel is, you can be discoverable on Google. And that is important. And that makes a lot of people a lot of money with their business because people can now find you. So see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so that when the next video comes out, you will be the first to know.